Up to four explosions have rocked the central square of Syria's largest city of Aleppo, reportedly killing around 40 people. The blasts were thought to have been caused by car bombs and were followed by heavy gunfire. More on that from RT's Middle East correspondent Paula Sleer. Paula, she joins us live now. Uh, so Syria is no stranger to terrorist attacks. What happened this time? Well, there have been, as you say, a number of explosions in the Syrian northern city of Aleppo, which is also the country's commercial hub. Syrian state television is reporting that this is the work of terrorists and that dozens of people have been killed, many of them belonging to the Syrian regime. Now, it comes amid intensified fighting between government forces and rebel fighters in the city. We are understanding that the explosions were a few minutes apart. They happened near the city's large squares. At least one massive crater has remained in the ground and that the facades of several tall buildings nearby were completely ripped apart. According to eyewitnesses there, the explosions were followed immediately by intensified gun battles and clashes. We are also hearing that by all accounts, it seems as if the explosions were caused by car bombs. Now, this has not yet been verified, but it does suggest that this is the work of suicide bombers. There is a Lebanese newspaper that is reporting that the Syrian president Bashar Assad is in the city of Aleppo, where he is visiting and seeing firsthand what the battles there have been bringing about, and that he's also ordered at least some 30,000 troops to be deployed. It is unusual, it certainly is rare, that there have been suicide bombings in the city of Aleppo. There was a bombing back in February in which 28 people were killed, but mostly now the suicide bom bombings have been concentrated in the capital city of Damascus. And over the past few days, and certainly over the past few weeks, there has been an intensified number of car bombs exploding there. Now the rebels have come forward and claimed responsibility for those car bombings. So far, no one has claimed responsibility for this particular attack, but it certainly does have all the fingerprints of rebel car bombing suicide attacks. There was a call last week by rebel fighters in which they said that they would intensify their fighting in Aleppo. They said that they were going to end the battle there. It comes amid reports that we're receiving that Qatar has sent nearly $200 million to the Free Syrian Army. So certainly the scene seems to have been set for fighting to intensify, certainly in the near future, and looking now in the city of Aleppo. All right, that is Paula Slayer live uh, from Tel Aviv. Thank you, Paula.